Volcano. Things we need. Clear sand. Soda bottle. Liquid detergent. Vinegar. Red food color. Warm water. Baking soda. Pour hot water in the plastic bottle. Be careful. If the water is too hot, your hand might get burnt. Now we will add some vinegar into the bottle. The force of reaction depends on the amount of ingredients. For lava effect, we will add some red or orange food colour. Few drops of it is sufficient. Oh, not that much. I said few drops. Anyways, it's okay. It may give us some nice effect. Shake the bottle properly. Now add some liquid detergent into the bottle. Take permission from your mom to use her detergent or else she will pounce upon you like a volcano. Make a volcano with the clay or sand using the soda bottle as the base. Shaping the clay around it Leave the mouth of the bottle open. Be careful. Make sure that no clay gets in the bottle. If you are going to present this in a science fair or in a competition, you have to make the mountain carefully for a nice visual effect. Don't make a shabby mountain. Mm, come on, you can make use of water to fix the sand. Till the mountains get ready, we will see what will happen. When baking soda is mixed with vinegar, it creates carbon dioxide. The pressure that builds up from the carbon dioxide forces the lava, that is, the soapy water in this case, to flow from the volcano. The red food colour is for lava effect for soap foam. Yes, now our mountain is ready. We have kept some space on the top. But you should cover it properly till top. Where is the baking soda? Okay, here it comes. 
we will add baking soda into the bottle. Add at least 2 tablespoons. Wow! Now this is the lava from the volcano. Do this experiment only outside and not inside your home. Reason? The reaction of vinegar and baking soda creates carbon dioxide gas. This gas forcefully throws colored soap water out. If you close the bottle for some time and then open it, the lava may rise up like a fountain.